Okay, well, we are driving just south of Santa Rosa, New Mexico, and we are watching lightning happen just on every side of us. This is gonna be fun. This should be a fun, whoa, fun little shoot. That's a big strike right in front of me. So we'll see, but it should be an active day. August 30th was starting like a lot of days in this initial monsoon season for me. Storms formed in the afternoon and were beginning to gust out as I arrived. This would mean I would soon have to reposition. One of the big lessons I learned this summer was the winds out of monsoon storms are not to be trifled with. These winds often match supercell inflows and require you to mindfully set your tripod to be as wind resistant as possible. Storms were going strong into sunset. Another key lesson I learned this monsoon season seems obvious, but make all your targeting decisions around where storms will be in the period around sunset. This is different than supercells in that you don't need to be on storms when they form. You just need to be on monsoon storms when the sunlight gets good. Just like barely sprinkling, but it's enough that it would screw everything up. Time lapsing has made impossible when it's like this. So we're gonna keep driving until it quits sprinkling unless it gets dark before then. And I guess we're done for the day. One extremely hot storm. Keeps firing off tons and tons and tons of big bolts. There's another one. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Just not a big fan of being out after dark alone in the middle of nowhere nowadays. Some pretty obvious reasons why. So we're gonna call it a day. It was a good one. I think got some good lightning, that sort of thing. So gonna head to the house. And honestly, this was, you know, solid. What more could you ask for? So we'll see how tomorrow goes. The next day, I initially planned to target northeast New Mexico, as instability was really good there. Unfortunately, this target wasn't panning out as I had hoped, so I began to wind my way down towards I-40. This was another good lesson of the monsoon season. Targets are relative. Models aren't as good at anticipating the evolution of monsoon storm days, and there are plenty of surprises. Towards the end of the season, I had learned to keep my options open. Okay, let's go get this uh, other filter. Very real chance we're gonna need to start adjusting the light a little bit. Another lesson, perhaps relearned, is that to get the best shots, you have to play near the rain. And with strong outflow winds, this is a fraught exercise. Raindrops get on everything. I'll need to think this one through for next season. So we're getting close to the end of monsoon season and this weekend is going to be one of my last chances. Trying to do our first storm here in Moriarty, New Mexico. We're going to try to play far south and east of Albuquerque into the evening. Just kind of keep going south and east as far as we can go before we run out of storms. That's the plan. 
It was my final chance to get quality storms in the 2019 monsoon season, and I was hopeful that I would take advantage of the opportunity. While monsoon storm days are pretty frequent in the summer, it's still easy to have a lot of meh days despite the fact storms are relatively similar from day to day. These initial cells near Corona were promising, but lightning was hard to come by. Do you notice the theme to 2019 yet? My next move was south to Carrizozo. I was chasing sunlight again, but at this point I knew that's where you wanted to be. Pretty sky. Another lesson I'll need to remember is to take more time when I'm ready to film. It seems like I was always in a hurry to go nowhere fast in 2019. It's a good thing to remember with life in general as well. The hurry really isn't all that real. So my first monsoon season was a memorable one. I honestly can't wait to shoot beautiful storms over the arid southwestern landscapes again this upcoming year. There were lots of lessons learned and memories made. It's all in a day's work of capturing incredible skies. Hey, did you like this video? Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.